हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज अक्षय एंड यू आर वाचिंग द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल व्हिच इज हाउ टू बिल्ड अ स्ट्रॉन्ग रिज्यूमे फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स आफ्टर रिव्यूइंग ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी रिज्यूमे लास्ट वीक फॉर ऑल लेवल ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस पीपल एंड ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर्स आई आई हैव लिस्टेड डाउन ऑल दीज पॉइंट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच आई फाउंड द मिस्टेक्स विच पीपल मेक वाई एल प्रिपेयरिंग द रिज्यूमे सो दैट यू डोंट मेक इट अगेन आई हैव created these two videos the last one and this one so that i should cover everything and if still i miss out i will come up with the part 3 again so let's not waste time and check out the first point in this video which is articulating your content you know if how much ever technical knowledge you have how much ever good skills you have how much ever good projects you ha- you have you have done in your past but it it doesn't matter if you can't articulate it well if you can't showcase your skills then nobody knows right you know you you have done a lot in your past you have done a lot of projects you are good at a lot of skills you have you have a lot of technical gyan but what's the use of that gyan if the person who is seeing your resume is not able to see that gyan coming out of your resume whenever you write a project then articulate it well there are different ways how you can write the same thing try to see try to make it short crisp sometimes just writing hospital management system library management system doesn't works these you know when i read hospital management system or library management system or this management system ticketing system so these systems you know everybody in their life all software engineers would have made it i'm if you want to write that write it in a better way at least like i am not saying don't write them they are done these the skills were applied over there but if you just write hospital management system it sounds bad matlab doesn't sound bad but it doesn't even sound much appealing right i it just like people ignore it so what you can do is you can articulate it well mention down what things you have done what skills did you use like how it has helped you you can give a cool name to that project so that it sounds interesting you know this is a hack like you know this is a hack but it seriously helps like if you tell your project in a way which excites other person to know more about that project is the best way to articulate seriously after re- reading your resume i should be interested enough to get you in front of me and interview you more like i should be if i am checking your resume i should be interested seeing your resume to meet you in person and then talk to you more about your skills and all and i want to work with you seriously see i don't know if you like it or not but it's a common psychological fact that if somebody is reading your resume the first time you know they make a certain image in their mind like people make a certain image in their mind about you without even knowing you more just by reading your resume if they see some very exciting points then i am really interested seriously when i come across some resume and i see some important keywords or very cool sounding project names then i am excited to know more about that person i am excited to know more about that project it sounds interesting right so you can articulate things well and can create that wow or exciting factors to know more about you that's how it is and that is a hacky thing but yes you should know that skill as well that is super important now let's move on to the second point which is open source yes if you are a software engineer and you have contributed to open source uh, then it's a big 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 thumbs up seriously i don't know at what point of your career you are but if you go right now and do some open source contributions that will help you learn a lot as well as help others also learn a lot and build this whole great community so if i see a open source written in open source contribution mentioned in the resume it's a big big thumbs up from my side at least let's move on to the third point which is the career objective so see you know it's again a very debatable topic Uh, i whenever i see a resume on the top i see career objective and then two three lines written some fancy super exaggerated english words are mentioned in that career objective and that does not make any sense to me seriously i have never written a career objective 
in my resume all throughout my life like why would i waste three lines with a heading four lines uh, in just articulating something uh, telling people that i am motivated i am skilled i am self confident this that and then most of the times if you go and read right like i read uh, i reviewed 60 60 resumes around 60 resumes last week and then if you go and read 10 of the resumes most of the things will be common like it is always copy paste like almost 90% of the times people just copy paste it and put it over there just for the sake of that section no need to put that section no need seriously nobody is in matlab it is automatically uh, uh, assume that you are self motivated and uh, highly skilled and a quick learner and uh, this and that what you have mentioned and if the profile which you are applying for uh, requires that skills which you have mentioned then it's good if you write it but if you ask me i would never suggest you to write it so now let's move on to the fourth point in this video which is the career section that is super important yes all eyes are on career section most of the times <clears throat> try to keep it on the top left side always on the top left side it is our non natural tendency in english like whenever we read so that top left side okay the top left comes over here in the video top left side of the resume is always on the main focus than the right bottom okay so keep these things like technical skills your career path on top as much top as you can and on the left side push the more important things so the career is one of the most important thing in the resume which everybody is looking on to so and then you should your resume should clearly demonstrate your career path and please while mentioning your job details don't write big big paragraphs a clear no nobody has time to read all that stuff seriously i have seen people writing 7 7 8 8 line paragraph in just one go and so if you keep it in small small crisp points and articulate it well like showcasing how beautifully it impacted the business and how relevant it was how much efficiency it has improved how much percentage of customer it has increased how much uh, code efficiency this project have increased or what skills uh, you gathered or what main challenges which you solved what algorithms you used these things are key highlights don't mention them in uh, some seven eight lines of paragraphs that's a big no big no so now let's move on to the fifth point which is the education section to articulate your education section uh, see if you are a experienced professional then nobody looks at your school marks for sure seriously you can skip the marks also or grades also yes college degrees you can keep that also people don't see generally and most uh, mostly it is just goes like this yes if you are from a reputed college if you have iit nit mit and what not in your college names then you should put it there if you have 90% put it if you don't have you can skip it if you are experienced so if you are just one or two years experience or you are a fresher or a intern then this section is very important for you and then you should mention all your like your graduation your high school and intermediate and 10th and 12th uh, schools and colleges boards what you have studied for uh, yes and if you are one or two years experience also then you can even skip your school marks that is not necessary if you have low marks then you can skip it so that it doesn't looks bad you can skip it seriously nobody is interested in it but yes if you have good marks then definitely showcase it so now let's move on to the sixth point which is the achievement section yes i personally like this section a lot and i i am seriously curious to read achievements and then if you articulate it well like if you write i was ranked 1 in hackathon i was ranked 2 in this coding competition then it sounds cool right and then it showcases your skills so articulate it well don't write big big sentences write short and crisp that's it and it gives an idea of yes you are a good chap and then uh one more thing uh, to add on to this point is uh, uh yes you can mention your code chef hacker rank 
whatever uh, platforms or coding things you do you can mention those over there your ranks if if you are good at it uh, or else anything interesting in that section would definitely be a eye catcher and then uh, if something sounds good over there then it's a big 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 thumbs up so with this let's move on to the seventh point which is the courses and certification yes this is again uh, a good way to showcase that you are interested in learning a lot of things so like in your course curriculum you don't have cloud computing or you don't have big data or you don't have machine learning or uh, data visualization or some uh, ar vr iot whatever it is so you can do a course or a certification around it that really shows your interest toward technology that you want to learn something new you went ahead and did something nice apart from whatever you are learning through your course so it looks good but yeah if you don't have don't mind i would suggest you to go and do that if you can and it's really it it looks good if there's a small uh, list of uh, certifications or courses you have done which at least sound cool and also add keywords to your uh, resume right so with this let's move on to the next point which is web links in your resume yes these days it is very common that resumes are floated over the internet via uh, links and docs and then yes i forgot to mention one more thing uh, in my last video that yes so you should always export your uh, resume as a pdf seriously sometimes when you export it if you send it via docs or something and some people are and different people are opening that doc in different uh, applications so it breaks your resume alignment and everything just messes up and then it's a it doesn't look good right so export it as a pdf uh, it gives you a good view we, along with that i was talking about web links so include links direct links to your uh, suppose your linkedin profile or your portfolio link or link to the so that if somebody clicks on your email then it directly shoots an email or and try whatever projects you mentioned try to host them somewhere that i have mentioned a lot of time in my other videos as well if you do a project do it end to end okay so start from the basics do everything and then deploy it deploy it somewhere make a url generate a url there are a lot of free hosting services and a lot of things make a url and then link it with your uh, uh, in your resume in the project section it's it's really very good seriously i have seen a lot of times that uh, people uh, says that okay i did this project i uh, i made some image processing software or something and then they have a link i went to that link and there was his github page or a, a quick demo link which seriously excites me at least it excites me and then shows that shows the authenticity of that uh, project what the person has built most of the times when i am uh, seeing the resume on my laptop then i don't mind going to that link and checking the cool thing what somebody has developed so that's a big yes so towards this end of this video i would like to give some tips to the college students who are right now studying over there and looking out for internship as well as for the experienced people later so first let us talk about the college going students so for students i would like to tell that do participate a lot of events and activities going through in your college seriously what you participate in hackathons and your the coding challenges and the college fest which is happening paper presentation workshops happening and quizzes happening and then a lot of things like online coding platforms or you developing small small projects contributing in some fest events and organizing them things these are really very important this will help you in overall your overall development and one more tip is that if you are in sort of an introvert or something at least try to write something you know writing is also very important skills it's not that you are a software engineer you should not learn writing writing is a skill reading is a skill you try to read and try to develop yourself and that is when you know once you are uh, graduated or once you are making your resume afterwards those four years or those through the whole journey will help you get those points in your resume that is super important and you will cherish it that okay i have things to write in resume 
otherwise i have seen people who don't have anything to write in resume and then they uh, write some extra stuff which is not even relevant just to cover up the space so do things and try to learn new new things and then try to add it into your resume and then that's how you should move and if you are a fresher or just a little experience then i would suggest you to you know guide your career guide your career path think about what you want to become what technologies you like you know what happens is we just go out of college and are placed into any company seriously any company randomly and we don't even know how we came over there and because generally people don't have much options whatever they get they just join there so at this point of time don't go into your comfort zone never try to see your career ahead try to see how you want to take your career to how you how you want to guide your career and then see be focused that what uh, specialization be spec- be specialized to something so you know when i i'll give you my example I, i when i started i was a full stack developer everything i was exploring every day new new technologies then later on i thought that okay uh, i gave a lot of thought and then decided finally because i was curious interested in web so i chose myself to be as a web engineer before i was a full stack i used to work on every sort of database a uh, front end back end everything even the devops now i have strictly focused myself and developed a strong grasp of the front end technologies and then i am now working as a web engineer so that's how you can focus your career in one head that that does not mean that you shouldn't know about the whole ecosystem you should know about everything but yes be a uh, jack of uh, you shouldn't be a jack of all trades but you know you, you should master at some skills which you are really very good at and then you should know everything around what is happening and then try to learn and try to move ahead with the technologies as fast as you can so that is what the tip i would like to give you at the end of this video hope you like this video and you have got some interesting tips for making the resume and getting the job i wish you all the very best from the bottom of my heart and then i wish that you get a beautiful job whatever you have dreamt of as soon as possible if you like this video then do give it a thumbs up and also stay subscribed to my channel and press the bell icon for all the upcoming awesome videos and yes don't forget to share it with your friends you know helping others is the best thing you can do you will yourself feel so much content and you will be so happy that yes seriously you should try to help as much people as you can you know making strong connections and good friends is what i have learnt in my career so far share this video with your friends and then help people and then keep watching videos so that's all in this video so thanks for watching